Welcome to the Hard Hat Training Series. Today you will learn about the setup and safe operation of aerial lifts. We will strive to provide information that will increase your knowledge and help to make you a better operator. Aerial lift platforms are great tools to conduct work at heights and increase production efficiency. These machines lift personnel, along with tools and materials, from 10 to 12 feet in the air to as high as 100 feet. During this training, we'll take a look at the different types of lifts and their anatomy. We'll also show you why it's important to conduct a thorough pre-shift inspection each day before putting a lift into service. We will look at aerial lift stability and the importance of knowing the machine's capacity. We will emphasize the importance of planning each lift and setting up the machine properly so as to avoid hazards and obstacles around the worksite. We will introduce the six most common hazards associated with aerial lift operation and show you how to recognize, avoid, or minimize them. When you complete this training, you should be familiar with the types of aerial lifts used by your company have an increased knowledge of how to set up and safely operate them, and be able to recognize and avoid the most common hazards associated with their use. Aerial lifts have made it safer and easier to lift personnel and their tools to great heights. If used correctly, this equipment provides quick and safe access to work areas that at one time could only be reached from scaffolding or a crane's man basket. Collectively, they're called aerial work platforms but individually they have many different names. To avoid confusion, we'll define the four main types of lifts. Vehicle-mounted aerial lifts are mounted on trucks or vans and are often referred to as bucket trucks, cherry pickers, or boom trucks. They are most commonly used along public roads and highways by public works and road maintenance crews or utility companies. Vehicle-mounted aerial lifts also come in the form of ladder trucks with platforms. A few of these also double as cranes with a winch and hoist line. These types of lifts are most often seen in the sign industry. Self-propelled aerial lifts can be either a straight boom or an articulating boom. They are commonly used on construction sites and around industrial plants for maintenance personnel. Self-propelled scaffolding are commonly called scissor lifts and can be used on smooth flat surfaces or rough terrain, depending upon the type. These are mostly used indoors, but there are models that can be used outdoors as well. Manually powered aerial platforms are most commonly referred to as vertical lifts. They are mast or scissor type, AC powered, and usually come with outriggers to give them more stability. These are some of the main CSA standards. Many provinces have additional standards, as do some industries, such as maritime, mining, and offshore oil platforms. It is your responsibility to know all federal, provincial, and local rules that apply to your machine and job site. If you are not sure, ask your supervisor or safety coordinator.